Good evening, everybody. It's evening here. It's been a very, very, very dreary day. I blame it on spring because she keeps saying that she's sending the weather my way. And it's like she just keeps... And it's like here. Anyways, I just thought I would touch base with you all, share some yarn that I've recently acquired, some acquisitions, um, and give you an update on stuff. I've been a little quiet. I've been feeling a little under the weather. I'm feeling a little bit better today. Um, but, um, yeah. Um, plus, it was the, it would have been the birthday of my husband. So it's just been a little bit of rough going and I've kind of stayed back. I don't like to be yuck. Okay, so I don't like yuck. So I received Happy Meal. Um, I bought some yarn because what do you do when you're down and out? You get some yarn therapy going on and chop. Well, so I did that, and I have a couple of acquisitions, and I received my brooches. I was so pleasantly surprised when I received them. You have a new idea, people. I'm going to start off with my acquisitions because I just think that, you know, um, I mentioned that I had ordered more brooches, and when they came in, I would show them to you. And what I had done was I had ordered a pack, but I thought that they were much smaller than they are. So I'm going to show you two of them at a time. And you can have some fun guessing which ones would be my favorites. <laughs> hint, hint. That's two. Then we have... Oh, five. Whoop, 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 whoop. Wait. We have a butterfly and we have a peacock. Hmm. I like them both. <sniffs> then we have an elephant and a deer. These are just lovely. Like they're they're, they're all brooches, is what they are. They're pins. And you could use them for shawls, is what I was thinking. So, and then of course the last two <laughs> are these babies here. Now a lot of these things, like some of them, I will be keeping, like the owls. <laughs> um, and maybe I don't know. Like th th there's a couple here that have caught my eye. But um, those will be going in future giveaways. That was the idea. And instead of people using um, shawl pins, I figured they could use those things instead. So next, let's see. I totally goofed up. I ordered the wrong sizes. This is not what I wanted. This is not what I wanted. So I have no choice. I'm going to have to actually go... Um, Maybe to Michael's. And, uh, yeah, search this out myself. And maybe feel up some super fine or super wash merino. Because I was told maybe that won't bother my, my hands and it's a wool. And I'd like to try it out. So, there you go. I have now two excuses to go to Michael's. I totally goofed up on those, but that's okay because I can, you know, still use them, play with them, or maybe even just throw those in a giveaway. The other thing that I acquired was a row counter. And somebody had pointed out to me the problem with these is, um, did I press the row before I started it or at the end of it? Um, which one did I do? And am I sure? Pardon me. Um, yeah. But I think I'm pretty good at that. So most of the time. But always good to have in the toolbox. I believe. And let's see what else. 
Wait, yarn. I went out and I purchased four of each color. This one is called Sequoia. I am totally in love with Heartland um, yarn that the from Lion Brand. It, it this is the color Sequoia, um, and it, it's just like. You can really get a good idea of how rich those browns and the, the, it's just like such a stunning, stunning yarn. Um, it's a five ounce, 251 yard um, ball of yarn. That's a four weight. I bought four in this color. I bought four in this color. Oh, I'm really happy with the way the camera is picking up the colors because that's actually looking pretty good. And I was worried. And this is what they are calling um, Cuyahoga Valley. And it's just like stunning, stunning yarn. Love it. And then, of course, I had to buy this one because I'm thinking at least two of these colors possibly are going to go nicely together. This is called Hot Springs. And purples have a tendency to show up blue. I apologize. I'm kind of hoping that it's showing up as purple to you guys. Because that's pretty much what it is. It's like a really rich purple. And I thought possibly those two colors might go together. You never know. You never know. You never know. Then... I saw these and I thought they were really, really neat. I don't have any of these. And they're cotton and with spring coming up um, and summer, um, I like to make a lot of different things in cotton. So I bought myself two of each and each cake is 8.8 .8 ounces, 425 yards. So I've purchased 850 yards. Of each different color they are the Karen cotton funnel cakes they are apparently 100% cotton and it's a four-way this is in the color oh my gosh I keep doing that silly me this one is called dandelion seed so I bought two in that one I bought two in this beautiful, creamy, 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 oh, gorgeous. It's, and they're calling it Cumulus. I just love it. And this is like, it, it, it's like silly soft. I can't wait to see if it works up as soft and, and, and beautiful as I'm thinking it is. It is a chain spun, I'm thinking. It's chain spun, but it's like really nice chain spun. It's like really, really nice. And then I bought two of these in the color Dove. They're calling it Dove. Very, very pretty blues and creams in there. And then I bought two in this color, which is called Thistle. Let's see if we can get that to show. There we go. Right above there is what they're calling thistle. Very, very pretty. I really am very much looking forward to, um, yeah, using every single one. It's like every one of them has, has been earmarked. Let's get on to some Happy Meal. I received a package from the beautiful Miss Spring, and I will link her below. She goes live on uh, Thursday evenings it is called um, spin and chat spring the fiber enthusiast um, and I already own two um, cakes like this but she spun me up a third one and I love it I love it I love it because now I know beyond the shadow of a doubt that I am going to have a lot or plenty to make whatever I want to make out of this gorgeous, gorgeous yarn that spring the fiber enthusiast spun for me. I now have three.
three of these puppies. I'm so happy. Woof, woof, woof. <laughs> so, and she sent me a little thank you so much. And I was like, kind of funny because when I opened it with her, I was like, thank you. I'm like, what is she thanking me for? And then when I opened it up, it read, what am I thanking you for? <laughs> it was kind of funny. Um... I'm not going to read what she wrote in the card, but that's the card that she sent with the yarn. She sent some chocolates. I already ate one. This is the other one, but I got two of these guys. I'm probably holding it backwards. Good night, about chocolate. Belgian. Whoa. And then she surprised me, and I had totally forgot about this. And uh, I remember when she made it, I commented, oh, turquoise, that's for me, right? And that's just like a solitary piece. And I was thinking of uh, making uh, some sort of a showpiece out of it somehow, like, you know, to wear. And because of, you know, it's, it's just so beautiful. It's turquoise. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay. And then the the the, the, the pièce de résistance. She finished my wrap and she sent it off to me. I have received it. This is my wrap everybody. And for any of you that do not know the history of this wrap a little bit I had purchased without realizing what I was purchasing uh, mulberry silk but it was so incredibly thin so spring had said send send it her way and she would weave me this was on her this was this was weaved so this is a 100 percent mulberry silk weaved by spring fiber enthusiast or wrap and I will cherish this I'm telling you guys it's absolutely gorgeous I absolutely love it I love it I love it I love it thank you spring this is just like I love it <laughs> it's amazingly beautiful amazingly beautiful so that is what I got from the beautiful spring and then, of course, you know, as an afterthought, they decided they were going to send me another card. Like, you know, what the heck, right? But um, it, it, it's just such a really nice card. I was told that um, Earl picked it out. I'm impressed. I'm impressed. Yes, I am. Okay. So this was for the spring. And then in there as well was another little surprise from the very beautiful lady Tank, a.k.a. Susan, or her channel name is I Love To Crochet. And she sent me a little gift uh, via spring. She is telling me that I can keep what I want, um, even if it's all of them, or I can do some giveaways and whatever if I wanted to with some of them. It was like totally up to me. And she sent me this adorable little card. It's just so cute. It's just so cute. It's a little puppies. <laughs> and it's going to go on my card board. <laughs> And she wrote me, like, one of the most beautiful notes. Um, I'm not going to read it out because it's, it, it's personal. It's, it is very personal. And um, so incredibly touching and beautiful and moving. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Susan, thank you. This was, like, really, um, yeah. Woman, you're something else. So, 
What she did was she sent me a bunch of stitch markers and what I did was I put it on one of these things in the hopes that I could just kind of like show them all, all the stitch markers that she sent me. There were just like so many of them and I wanted, you know, but it's like, look at these guys. We have seahorses, we have angels, we have stars, we have um, the tree of life. One of my, yeah, tree of life, very big thing for me. Um, so are angels, and I think she knows that. Uh, butterflies, it, it just, yeah, absolutely, absolutely gorgeous stitch markers. So any of you, when you see stitch markers as a giveaway prize in somebody's life from Tank, you can expect to, to receive beautiful stuff like this. Absolutely gorgeous. Thank you so, so much, Tank. You are a precious gem. Um, I believe, everybody, that is it. You're probably saying, hallelujah. Oh, my gosh. Okay. So, that is it for my yarn haul. That is it for my Happy Meal from Spring and from Tank, and my acquisitions, and stuff, and I would like to personally invite you all Wednesday, April 13th, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, that's my time, um, Manitoba is 7 p.m., I'm not quite sure what time zone they're in, <laughs> but Wednesday, April 13th, I am hosting on my channel with a few other very, very special people, I'm sure, that are going to come up on panel um, to um, host a birthday party for the amazing, beautiful Cindy the Crocheter A. She is a fellow Canadian. She is just... <sighs> She's j just, like, so sweet. It is like I adore her um, so I am throwing her a party it is 18 and over please because uh, the games that we're gonna play it's like I don't I want people to be able to interact in the game and answer her the way they would want to and have some fun um, if somebody wants to toast Cindy they can toast her if Cindy wants to toast herself <laughs> she can toast herself but it will be on my channel Wednesday, April 13th, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I hope you'll join us and celebrate this lady's birthday. You'll also find her channel linked here. Maybe she has an Amazon wish list or a PayPal on her about page. And maybe you can show her some love for her birthday. That would be really amazing. But until then, everybody, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just say goodbye um, I gave you the update. I apologize for being away. I will be going live again on Sunday. I will be doing my PJs, Pigtails, and Pico. I will hope to see you there at 11 a.m. Eastern. And, uh, yeah. Until then. And, uh, wishing you all a great evening. Or day. Or afternoon. Or morning. Whatever time it is in your time zone. Remember to do all things with kindness. Love y'all. Bye.